Welcome to another awesome day of FileMaker Training. I am Richard Carlton, creator of FMTraining.tv, where every day we are having great fun building great FileMaker solutions and sharing with you and learning from you and bringing the community together here, at least parts of it together. Let's talk about the upcoming broadcast schedule. If you go to FMTraining.tv, you're going to see the uh, website right here, the live training button on the left side. You can check out the upcoming broadcast schedule. Today is kind of an open Q&A. What we have is a bunch of questions that popped up in FM Forms. FM Forms is an online kind of hangout for people who do FileMaker. And so you can ask questions there about the various things. And that's kind of where today is going. So what we're going to do is a reminder, if you want to support the channel, um, we have a bundles button right here. These are the training bundles by one of these to support the channel. We greatly appreciate it. So we have some questions that were thrown up on FM forms. And so Margaret's kind of consolidates together. I don't know how far we get through these, but the questions were really good. It's a reminder of some things that, you know, we've know about FileMaker. We've kind of forgotten about FileMaker. And the first one that came up um, is... This is a different one. Is this the one with the horizontal portal? Was that the second one? With no, the it, is, it is the one with the horizontal portal. If you go to the link, it's kind of like he, the person has multiple problems. Yeah, he has way. multiple questions. And so what I'm going to do is this is a big, long conversation here. The short version, the biggest piece of this you can take away is, well, really two things, Margaret. If we get to, if we have time, we can talk about globals on the parent side of a relationship. But um, for now, let's just talk about horizontal portals and people saying, what are horizontal portals? Okay, you have to, you framed it in the form of a question, right? A horizontal portal is the feature that Claris never built. Um, and so unfortunately, this is kind of it. So what I'm gonna do is kind of, if everyone can see this, I'll maybe zoom in a little bit more here. This is a sample file that Margaret's gonna make available to you. This file was originally created many, many years ago by uh, like more than 10 years ago by a guy named Rory Gordon. I probably met him, but I don't remember. He's probably retired by now would be my guess. I took his file, his file was really only intended for super senior level people to understand. And I dumbed it down a little bit, at least at the beginning part, so everyone's following along. So if you, we're gonna look at this, then we're gonna look at each box, uh, you know, per perpetually down the page, if that makes sense. So we're going to look at this. So first we have a portal. This is a regular portal. It's a, it's a vertically scrolling portal. So as you have more records, they go to the bottom. Okay, very simple. The default behavior of a portal, if it's not sorted, it shows the order in which the records were created in FileMaker. Okay, you can apply a sort order. Sort orders can be very quick, but if you have a lot of records, you can get a progress bar that can be longer to run. So then people told me, said, hey, Richard, and I and I and it's something I hadn't thought about in a long time. How do we do a horizontal portal? And 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 there is no such thing as a horizontal portal. And every time that comes up, I always send an email back to Clara saying, hey, how about a horizontal portal? So you can build something that mimics a horizontal portal. So what I'm going to do is show you initially what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to show you the suggestion by this Roy Gordon person who uh, did a really slick job on this. Once again, we'll give you the sample file. So this is the basics. We all know this. Okay, if I scroll down a little bit, this is a portal. Okay, it's a one row portal. I'm going to go to layout mode. But what this is, is that this is a portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this portal. I'm going to click Y objects. Ow, ow. Okay, for now, I'm just going to delete that. And it's, it is a rectangle that's on top. It's blocking me from type clicking on this. So here's the portal, <laughs> double click. It's got a sort order. I don't care about that. In fact, I don't want the sort order at all, okay? It has a lot of vertical scrolling, okay? So down here is the important part. It says, start at row one, show me 10 rows. So what this actually says is show me, uh, start at related record number one. This really is what this should say. Related record number one. And obviously you can change that, but 90, 99% of the portals out there almost always start with one because we all build them vertically, because that's what Claris gave us. And then you can show the number of portal rows down the page, however many you want to go. So if that's run, that's the first related record. There's a second related record. There's a third related record. Now, ideally, you'd hit a button, and this would reorient up and down, and would go to the right. That isn't built in the product, right? So what So what you can do is to, uh, to get around this, if you're building a solution, like Larry's building this minor league baseball stuff, and if Larry, it's kind of like a, almost like a finished good product to a degree, a, a minor league team uses it, other minor league teams might use it. And so Larry might put a higher level of polish, a higher level of effort into the user interface. For me personally, 
I have trained myself after 33 years or 34 years of doing FileMaker that horizontal portals are not a thing. But if you have brand new people, the world of FileMaker, they ask why this shit doesn't go sideways. All we can do is go, because it's been that way since, since there was a Pony Express in 1912. It's been the same way. Um, so if I come over here, uh, I can see that this is a box. This is a portal. If I double click it, it's one row. It starts on row later record number one, and it shows one row. And so what I did is I took this little white box up here and I just resized it, okay? And that's what I got right here. Then I put some fields in here from the relationship, okay? And this, then I duplicated it. And this one, start, Margaret, you've never seen this, starts at row two and it shows me one. And you're like, mm. so if I go to browse mode, you can see that we have apple and apricots and Fred and Dick and address and address. So apple, now it's sideways. So if I want to do the third one, I'm going to do this for everyone here real quick. Margaret, if we have questions they need to ask, because I'm going to, I want to make sure everyone's clear with this nugget that I'm giving them right now. Uh, I'm going to double click this right here. I duplicate it. Remember, that was row two. So now we're going to tell it manually row three. And you're like, eh, right? So let me get that out of the way. Browse mode. So now you got row three. And you're like, so you could do now. The, the, this is interesting, but it doesn't give you this scrolling capability, right? This, this scrolling up and down kind of thing that goes on. So Roy Gordon built this thing out down here. He realized that you can't scroll left to right. Now, if you have if you have a horizontal relationship and you know you only you want a horizontal relationship and you know you only have five records or ten records or twelve, and it's not going to be it might be two and it might be a hundred, like a Wild West, like like when when Larry does his baseball stuff, he has like certain number of like box seats in the stadium like where taylor when taylor swift visits a baseball game um a minor league baseball game because she's broken up with kelsey right then she's going to sit in a box seat there's only so many box seats and so you know exactly that there's eight or 12 or 20 or 50 box seats in a stadium that's a fixed number okay it's not like a shopping list where you go to walmart or something you buy three things you buy 500 things in a in a cart so this works if you have kind of a contained set of knowledge or data that you need to manage. If you need to be able to scroll with this, then that's where this came up down here. So this is essentially your portal row here. And what allows you to do with these buttons here is you can see, watch, watch, watch cantaloupe. See it kind of, or did I jump the, oh, it jumps the whole group, but you could jump incrementally if you wanted to. Grape. So it's, 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 it's uh select the fruit. Yeah. So it jumps a blackberry. So black, what's below back? Blackberry, blackberry and banana. So if you come up here, you got blackberry, banana. Yeah. So when you hit the button, it's jumping to a new set of three. You could also set it so it jumps one at a time. That makes sense. So it talks about how he does this here, but this is the same concept. But what he did is that this, this is like, um, uh, this is an abomination in Nick's speak. It's, it's, a, it's a horrific abomination. Um, this is a, I don't want to say this. It's a button bar. It's a button bar, right? And so the buttons are dynamically Seriously? programmed. But it, it works, right? And no one knows it's a <laughs> sound except the developers using it. So I, what, that's why I want to start up here pretty simple. But the concept is one re related record one, related record two, related record three. The problem, the reason he is using this down here is because why? Because if you come over here, see this dialogue right here? You can, you can dynamically tell it uh, what data to get, right? Like get the data out of here, go get this, go get this, go get this, right? Uh, if you go to this portal, there's no dynamic control where you can put a calculation in here. See that? There's no, it's, it's like a hard-coded number, right? And so you can't do a, a, a calculation in it, right, at all. So then you have to, you could, you, could, you could solve this problem five or six different ways, but the reason they just didn't do these with a, a, a portal, if the, if the, if the initial row could be dynamically programmed with the like insert calculation, it's a variable, then it would work the same as this one over here. But this is a newer object down here. This was created within the last five years. The portal has been in existence since FileMaker 3, technically. So that's FileMaker 3 is 1995 or something, right? But some of it's newer, but it still works, right? And so when I say it's that old, that's kind of a backhanded compliment, right? It's, it's, it's successful. It makes money. People's livelihoods depend upon it. Billions of, and I mean that with a B, many, 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 many billions of dollars of 
of business is transacted through FileMaker on an annual basis, is managed to it. I didn't say the money moves through the, like an accounting system, but billions of dollars are managed by FileMaker systems. I know that for a fact, billions. And I don't even know how many billions, it'd be quite a few billions. So the idea is that this is this calculation right here, and it's got this little thing where it's got, okay, go get this, that's the field you have. So you could put other fields in here, right? So it's like a string, right? And then uh, I want the, the the first slide position, and this is the middle button, then give me the second spot, right? Does that make sense? And so then this one would be, if you come to this one, it's the same thing, except it's it's slide position, whatever, plus one, right? So this one's plus one, plus two, plus three, right? Makes sense? So, so then, of course, how would you make it go by a single increment? Uh, the button over here. You, well, this button clearly is jumping three at a time. So somewhere on this script, either it's set slides. Okay, there's a script called set slides. So I'm going to go to script workspace. I haven't tried this. I'm just winging this, making this up. But as a senior developer, there should be something here that says three on it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so you got, there's three. See the threes? <laughs> yes. So... I'm going to say this is going to be a minus one. Everywhere there's a three, I'm going to put a minus or a one on it. Hang on. I, okay, there's a one. There's a one. Okay, so you got one, one, and if that and if that one's a one. I think that's it. No, slide. Oh, greater than two. Oh, that might be a one, two, or is that a... I'm going to... Uh, this is the back button. So the back button may do something squirrely. We'll have to check if the slide is greater than two. Back minus one. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm going to save this. I'm going to move it over here. Go back to browse mode. So we're, oh, remember variables, that's a global variable, right? Global variable isn't reset. So I'd have to reset. I'm just going to have it back to backberry. Is backberry a, a thing? Oh, it is backberry a thing. Okay, but it won't go forward now because they can't go. All right, hang on. Let me just let me start this off. This is where you hack someone's stuff, and it doesn't quite work right. So here I'm going to go here. I'm going to say one. Okay. Oh, cancel. Uh, that's good. Close that. It's one. Actually, we can keep this up here, right? Just for fun. Over that, over there. Browse or over here. Okay. Now it refreshed. Uh, I wonder if the first position should be zero. Maybe zero is supposed to be the first one. Try that. Or zero. Come up here. Okay. Zero position is Apple. There it is. Now it's off refresh. See that? Now I'm going to press it once. It should go from Blackberry to banana, right? One, two, three. Click. Yeah. So everything's sliding incrementally now. Now banana will move there. Blackberry. Backberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what Backberry is, but it sounds like something you get out of a questionable store in the bad part of town. So, um, yeah, so that's how you fix that, right? So this is the sample files. So there's Grape. If I go to the right, Grape moves there. So you could program it to move. If you really wanted to do both singles in a bigger move, you could have like a, a button here with double chevrons on it to really show it's going to fast forward or something. So anyway, that's kind of how this works. So this is what you have. This is kind of what you want. This is the way we do it. We're training beginning people. This is how you do it if you're super duper slick and you're Roy Gordon. And then, of course, this is so funny. He builds this out for FileMaker 15 at the time was the product and market, right? By the way, notice how well this works. This is because Claris doesn't break backwards compatibility with the, with the product. This demo still works because it's still relevant, right? It's, gr it's great. So then people complain like, well... FileMaker 12 and 10 and 9 and 8 and whatever don't support the things you're using. So he went back and made one that will work for uh, for for 12, 13, 14, and 15, right? In fact, uh, is this a still a slide control? No, it's fields. So these are fields here. So he programmed a field that's a calculation field. So because because the, the button bar was new in FileMaker 14 or 15, probably 15. So anyway, interesting, eh? So that is your, your hot tip on horizontal portals. It's doable. It's not coming to a theater near you anytime soon. And, but there are workarounds for it. So Margaret, you can distribute that file if you want.
Arizona. Got a report of an individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. Oh, you're 